friends. Today, I am finally telling you something that I've been dying to tell you for such a long time. I'm starting a middle grade book club. <laughs> My name is Lexi and welcome back to my channel. And today is a very good day. I have been so excited to talk about this for such a long time. So before YouTube and before I was a full-time grad student, I was actually a librarian at a public library where I was in charge of all of the middle grade and young adult sections and patrons. And my very favorite part of my job was actually running the middle grade book club and the tween book club. I also ran and the adult book club. I was a co-host, I guess, for that one, and that one was really fun too. But to be honest, my favorite was the middle grade one. It was called the Breakfast Book Club, and it was so fun. The first Saturday of every single month, we would have kids from the ages of nine to 13 come in, and we would all discuss the book that we had picked to read for the month, and I would serve them hot pancakes off of a griddle, or I would serve them donuts at a donut bar. We would have like hot chocolate with the donut bar. We tried to do a lot of cool things. My dad usually came to help me because he's a very supportive person and just like has a big heart too. And it was so much fun to talk about middle grade with actual kids and with actual people. I don't know, it was one of my favorite parts of that job. And I have been craving doing an online book club for such a long time. So I'm just so incredibly excited to finally be starting one. And I'm starting one with one of my best friends in the entire world, Kaylin. I'm sure a lot of you are subscribed to Kaylin or you know about Kaylin, but here's my plug for her. If you have not heard of her or you're not subscribed, I will leave all of her stuff down below. She has the biggest heart in the entire world and she is one of my favorite people ever. And I love her so much and I'm just so incredibly excited to be co-hosting this with her. <laughs> We're also going to be doing two different giveaways to kind of kick off the book club, which I'm really, really excited about. So if you are interested in learning about that, that's gonna be at the end of this video. We have been talking about starting a book club together for, oh my gosh, almost a full year, since like last September or something. And we had a couple of things that we definitely wanted for the book club. One, we wanted it to be a little bit more interactive with our subscribers. We wanted to do fun things that went along with each book. And we also wanted it to feel really cheerful. Like we wanted it to feel almost like we were hanging out with a bunch of Hufflepuffs in a common room at Hogwarts. Like we wanted everything to feel really cozy and fun and so that's kind of gonna be the vibe for this book club. And so now I'm so excited to announce the name of our book club. It is A Touch of Whimsy. I'm so excited. <laughs> So the name of the book club is A Touch of Whimsy and we're going to be reading different middle grades every single month. And we're also going to be trying to do some really fun activities every single month, but we're gonna try to mix it up. So some months we're gonna try doing a 24 hour a thon where we all try to read a shorter book together and watch a movie and kind of make it like a slumber party atmosphere with everyone. Some months we're going to be pairing books with recipes so that all of us can try baking the same things. Some book clubs might be like a brunch date where we have it Saturday mornings and all of us try to make pancakes and like have breakfast together in our PJs or we'll be reading books that also have matching movies so we can talk about the movie and watch the movie together as well. So we're really really excited and we have so many different plans and ideas and I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm just so excited, I really am. And for all of our information on like which books that we're reading or if we're doing a giveaway or what the activity is, when the live shows will be, all of that stuff, that's all going to be on our Twitter page, which is going to be at Whimsy Book Club. We tried to do a touch of Whimsy, but it was taken and I was very sad. <laughs> So it's just going to be at Whimsy Book Club. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about the book selection. So we're going to try to tell you two different books in advance. So I'm going to tell you Junes and Julys. That way it gives you guys enough time to track down the books if you want. And also for the first couple of months, we're going to be reading backlist titles just because it's still pretty hard to track down like new releases. And I know that like shipping can be difficult depending on where you are because of the pandemic and everything. So hopefully making them backlist titles will make things a little bit easier. So okay, without further ado, June's book club selection pick is Howl's Moving Castle and I am so incredibly excited. 
So we chose Howl's Moving Castle as the very first one because we thought it would be kind of fun for our first activity to do a watch along with you guys as well. So we're going to be reading this, but we're also going to be announcing on our Twitter at a later date, the date that we're all going to be watching the movie as well. And then for our live show, we're going to be comparing the movie to the original book. Howl's Moving Castle is one of my favorite movies of all time. I think it's on Netflix for everyone except for the US, which kind of sucks. So this is about a hat maker named Sophie. Sophie is cursed by a witch to look like an old woman. And then she runs into Howl, who is a mysterious wizard, and his house, which moves. It's a very charming and whimsical, like the movie is anyways. And I'm really hoping for those vibes in the book. So I really, really can't wait. And then July's pick is going to be another classic. And that is Natalie Babbitt's Tuck Everlasting. So we chose this one for a couple of reasons. The first is that it's a staple and it's a classic. The second is that it is set in summertime, so it's gonna give you all those summertime feels. But another reason is because it's so short. It's only like 130 pages for this entire book. And so we thought it might be kind of fun if for our July activity, we do a summer slumber party with you guys. All the details for that are gonna be on our Twitter again, and we'll probably talk about it later on. On. But basically we're gonna try to do a 24 hour a thon with you guys where we read the book And we also watch the movie because this is also a movie and we're gonna be live tweeting and doing reading sprints And it's gonna be really 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 fun We wanted to incorporate things like that with the book club because really we want the book club to feel like it's an in-person book club. Like book clubs aren't fun unless you have people who are like participating and hanging out with you and stuff. And so we're trying to do a bunch of different things where it feels like we're all kind of together hanging out. But this is actually such a beautiful book. I read this a long time ago. I think I was like 18 when I first read this and I remember loving it. Although I do remember also thinking it was pretty different from the movie. But yeah, this is about a girl named Winnie Foster and Winnie Winnie Foster goes behind her house in the woods that her family owns and she meets a boy named Jesse who is drinking from a spring. When she tries to take a drink, he kidnaps her and tells her that she can't drink from there because whoever drinks from the spring is going to gain immortality. It's just this really, really interesting tale of her summer with the tucks and this magical bubbling spring. And I remember thinking that it was just so beautiful. Thinking about it, it's almost a little bit like magical realism and I remember loving it. So hopefully I love it upon the reread. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited. I think it'll be fun. <laughs> we will also be doing live shows for both of these and I'm super excited for the live shows. I will probably be baking every single time there's a live show. So uh, you don't have to obviously, but if you want to like bake cupcakes or muffins or whatever, so that it actually feels like we're all hanging out like please do so and then like hashtag us and and tag us like in all of your baking stuff and in your reading so that I know how you're feeling about the book as you're reading it and we can talk about it online it's it's gonna be really really fun okay so that is that with the books now let's talk about the two giveaways so we're giving away two different copies of The Folio Society of Howl's Moving Castle. We found this book online and we both immediately fell in love with how stunning The Folio Society's version is. Let me see if I can show you. There's actually full color illustrations throughout and they're so beautiful. And then if you can look at the gorgeous wraparound, and there's also a case, like a slip cover that it goes into as well. And so we, we wanted to give away two copies of this book. So the first copy we're trying to get out before June so that whoever gets it can read along with us. And then the second copy is going to be at our live show so that if you hopefully loved the book, you can get a really nice copy of the book. So giveaway number one, unfortunately, is not gonna be international. So it's only going to be to like the United States. And it's going to be running from now until May 28th. And to enter, all you have to do is comment on this video or on Kaylin's announcement video and tell me what your favorite middle grade is or what's one book that you really think we should read for the book club. And that's kind of how I'll know that you are entering in the giveaway is I will look for your answers for those two questions. And you don't have to answer both. 
both. You can answer either one. This is also really gonna help Kaylin and I because we want to curate the book selection based off of books we're both really excited about, but also based on books that we think that you're going to love and that you're really excited about. So along with your comment, we'd also really like it if you could leave your social handle to either Instagram or Twitter because what we're gonna do is we're gonna DM the winner and that's kind of how we'll exchange your address and everything so that we can send you the book. And then of course to enter you have to be 18 or older or have a parent's permission. We'd also like to say that this giveaway is not affiliated with YouTube. It's just something that we thought would be really fun. So, okay, so that is the very first giveaway. And again, that one ends May 28th. And all of the details for this are going to be linked down in the description below. The second giveaway is so much easier to remember. It is international. It is at our live show for the very first book, which we will announce like when that is over on our socials. And all you have to do is show up and we'll kind of randomly pick from the people who have showed up and then we will contact you and send you the book. And again, that one is international. The first giveaway is not. I also think it'd be kind of fun to play games occasionally at the live show, but I don't have any ideas on what games to play with you guys and what games to play with Kaylin. But just to kind of like break up all of the book stuff too, if you have any ideas, please like let me know down below as well. I think that is it for now, book lovers. I can't wait to read all the middle grade with you guys. I can't wait to have all of the slumber parties and do all of the watch alongs. I just think it's all going to be so much fun. So. Until next time, you guys, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. I am so good at pretending. Keep on smiling in my